Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I want to share a bit of knowledge with you guys. But first I'm gonna introduce myself. Okay, I'm gonna introduce myself. My name is Tabisa Makanda. I am better known as CC. <laughs> I studied somatology, which is the study of the skin and i am working in dubai i work at a resort as a spa therapist i am loving being here and i'm sure most of you have seen my post on instagram how i am navigating my life in dubai i am just over two weeks in dubai and yeah i am loving it i'm enjoying it i miss my kids at home i miss my family but yeah here we are anyways i have been getting a lot of messages from people asking me what did i study how do i work abroad and things like that so i just thought i should make a video and just explain how I got to be a spa therapist and yeah so I am very thirsty I actually like drinking water in a coffee mug I don't know it's just great mm. okay so let's start with somatology okay somatology as I explained it is the study of the skin and holistics so I studied a course at a college called Face to Face Beauty and Design. Um, I studied in Pretoria, but this college is available around the country, like Cape Town, Durban, I think the major cities. And I think there's one in PE or East London, but I specifically studied in Pretoria. Um, I prefer college settings because it is more um, intimate and also when I studied this course back in 2012 um, it wasn't really available in universities but I've seen now that most major universities offer the diploma and you can study it diploma or degree um, or whatever you prefer I did three years um, diploma um, I know now it is also available in a four-year degree, which is great, it gives you a lot of knowledge. What do you study in somatology? Okay, somatology, I studied um, taking care of skin. So my first year of the course, I was taking care of skin, which is facials, um, manicure and pedicure, uh, the basics, which is nipping, um, cuticle work you know the works and also um, paint applying I went on to teach myself how to apply gel which was uh, another thing that is not offered in the course um, I also did business which is studying how to navigate working in the industry and also I did chemistry which is how to understand the products that you're working with, the benefits. I also did um, anatomy, anatomy, which is the biotechs of the body. Um, so yeah, you need to know what muscles you're working on, what to avoid, blah, blah, blah. And then on my uh, second year of study, I mainly did the body, uh, which is all the major massages, hot stones, aromatherapy, reflexology, um, Swedish massage, yeah, the works. And then on my third year of study, I did basically um, taking care of your working space, sanitization, um, yeah, major. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it, psychology, um, how to understand your clients, how to speak to your clients, and, and things like that. And that was the makeup of my diploma. 
and then I finished that and I started looking for work uh, which was a bit difficult but I already had an idea of where I want to work um, within the course kind of the school will let you know where about you can work things like hotels that offer um, spa therapy you could open your own business you know all major um, networks where they offer spa therapy or skincare therapy that you could be qualified for and that one of the things that was also offered was to give you a chance to go to cruise ships and work on um, cruise liners that offer spa therapy on their cruise ships so I did that I went with the company called Steiner at that time it was the only company available um, that offered spa therapy work for beauty therapists um, around cruise ships and I applied the um, application process is not really difficult it is better to get in touch with a recruiter I will list some of the recruiters um, in South Africa and also the website on how to apply on that which is really helpful in my day the website was really hard to 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 navigate or to actually be reached out on so the recruiters would come to our school and offer interviews or ways to apply their contacts and everything and tell you about how you're going to be working in cruise liners and things like that and um, I did that uh, right after college I, I applied and lucky enough I got to the interview stages and you get into training which is some hard gruesome training and uh, just to be really honest you guys cruise ships are not that glamorous it may look good but it is hard hard work you must be really really dedicated and really really into beauty therapy because as much as it looks good on the outside or maybe we were presented very well but it comes with a lot of sacrifices and changing yourself you can't be a lazy person you need to be focused there's a lot of sales involved so if you can just um, make sure you are really good in communication and customer service and you know and basically know how to suck up to people it's 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 insane but it is worth it you get to learn a whole lot about yourself it is long contracts which is like nine months contracts at each time it's very long but it is worth it um, you earn some good money you are able to save and yeah it's like a kickstart to a career I am so glad I did that right after college so that i don't know it toughens me up um i don't think that beauty therapy is all about like being soft and everything no it was not all about that um also there's a lot of training in 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 becoming successful in your career which is good i i am so grateful for that i then um uh, stopped working for cruise ships. I did about uh, two or three um, contracts with Steiner and I couldn't take it anymore. Um, so I just um, didn't renew my contract. I then worked at local resorts. I worked in Cape Town, a resort called One and Only. Shout out to One and Only. That was one of the best um, companies I worked for. I really, really enjoyed One and Only. Um, it taught me a lot as well. I made some good friends that I will never forget in my life. Um, I then wanted to start a family. I was really, really um, like pressed in my heart to want to start a family. And so I did. I went back home in Gokstad. Um, in Gokstad, I had a little girl. 
um, Usinga, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then I just be, started my own business and you know, I just thought, you know what, I can just be my own boss, work my own hours and be able to be a mother because I mean, with this job, especially if you're working abroad or you're working um, for companies and things like that, it's not really um, easy to be a mom. Working hours are long and you work holidays because this is the time where people want spa therapy. And yeah, that's what I did. I went back home, I started my business, I went on being a mother, I then had another little girl, Usikuyo, and yeah, my life was great. I am not complaining. The only problem was that my finances were not really good. Um, also, having a business in a small town, it, it, it takes a whole lot of hard work. Um, I tried. I enjoyed it, um, but I thought, you know what, since my girls are a little bit grown now, I think they need a better life, they need better schools to go to, you know, the basics. So I decided to go back abroad. Um, going back abroad, I my first stop is Dubai, which is where I'm at right now. Um, I work for a lovely company once again, and... It is a new journey. I will be sharing the journey with you guys and let you know. Um, I think this is where I'm going to stop this video. Um, if you have any other questions, please do let me know. Hit me up in my socials at Miss Makanda on Instagram. And yeah, I can um, answer some of the questions. Um, on my next video, I think I would be talking about how to apply. Um, just in more detail on how to apply to become a um, spa therapist in, in major companies abroad and yeah, sharing that detail. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.